What's up guys, Jeff here, Corals Unlimited. This is where I talk about everything reef tank related. So if you love reef tanks like I do, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that we upload a new video. Now I just gave a huge in-depth talk about calcium and alkalinity and how I go about dosing it. And right now we're gonna actually get into some of the products that I use to actually dose calcium and alkalinity. Now, when you are talking about dosing, you want to make sure that you are talking about testing. Testing is incredibly important. And if you're just buying products and throwing stuff into your tank, you are flirting with disaster. So I cannot stress enough. If you are adding anything to your tank, please make sure you are testing for that parameter. Um, without that, you're not going to know what's going on in your flying blind. So very, very important subject. But right now, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about some of the products that I use two dose calcium and alkalinity to my system and those two products are fusion made by c chem fusion one and two and then the other two products are emmy coral calcium and alkalinity and you might be asking yourself why are you using two different products well ultimately the coral or the emmy coral product line is a pharmaceutical grade calcium and alkalinity and that's all those packages have so if it says alkalinity on it that's all you're putting into the system that is very similar to the fusion 2 with the emmy coral alkalinity um, but that is not similar with the emmy coral calcium and the fusion one which is also a calcium product um, in a situation where i am dosing and i have low magnesium in the system as well which if you have a issue with maintaining proper levels of calcium, you may want to take a look at your magnesium levels because magnesium tends to keep calcium in line. Uh, so if you're battling that, make sure you're testing for that as well. Uh, but in a situation where my magnesium levels are where they are and I want to keep them that way, I'm going to use the ME Coral products, um, spe specifically the calcium because there's just calcium in there and that's all it, all there is. Um, the alkalinity, you know, between the two product lines are pretty similar. The uh, Fusion 2 is a bicarbonate and carbonate alkalinity uh, product, so it may not act the same way as the ME Coral alkalinity. Uh, so you wanna be careful when you're dosing those and making sure that you're not dosing the Fusion 2 the same way that you're dosing the ME Coral alkalinity. But um, both these products come in liquid form. Uh, so if you're a reefer that doesn't have a ton of time or experience with dosing, I probably would start with the pre-mixed uh, formulas so that you have a baseline, you're working with a consistent product. But if you have a little bit more experience, um, there is nothing to be said about saving a few bucks and using the ME Coral uh, powder products. Uh, you'll probably save money on shipping uh, if you're ordering these items online. And they also, um, you know, they mix, the pouches mix to a gallon. So you wanna get yourself a gallon jug. I usually go um, to Walmart and I go in the home goods section. They have like these jugs uh, that are, I think they have the half gallon as well as the one gallon. And what I usually will do is I'll take one of these pouches I'll fill it up with uh, DI water, RODI water. Halfway, I'll put in one pouch, I'll shake it up. There's gonna be a chemical reaction and it's going to heat up. Um, and then I will, once I've mixed it for probably about a minute, I will top it off the rest of the way with the RO and you will notice it cool down rather quickly. Uh, you could do it with a water jug, just the same. Um, and if you're in a situation where you don't have access to RODI water, uh, distilled water will work uh, just, just the same. But if you are going to the, you know, the grocery store and buying a gallon of water, you might have to take, uh, you know, half that water out of there so you can get the powder in and then go and top that water back off into that jug. Mix it up. Make sure you label it so that you know uh, which is which because you don't want to be dosing calcium when you're dosing alkalinity. Um, but both these products are very helpful. Uh, the Fusion One, which is the C-Chem Calcium product, uh, the when I have low magnesium, I'm going to use that product as well. And the reason being is it has magnesium in there and some other trace elements. A uh, little bit of a secret sauce 
recipe, there's also rubidium that's in that product. And rubidium has been known to accelerate torch, uh, zoanthid, and mushroom growth. So if you're looking to get a little bit more growth out of your torches, mushrooms, and zoanthids, uh, that might be a product that you want to take a look at. Rubidium is found in natural seawater, but it is often not put into uh, the salt mixes because it's a relatively expensive element. Uh, so ultimately, you can find a little bit more success in those products um, or a success with that product with those types of corals. Uh, so if I have a magnesium issue, I'm using the Fusion 1 calcium. If I am trying to keep my magnesium where it's at, I'm using the ME Coral product line. And for me to save a couple bucks, I am going to use uh, the powder uh, just because I'm dosing a lot and I'm trying to save a few bucks here when I can. Um, but both these products are exceptional. I love them. Um, they have served me pretty well, but you will have to change your dosage depending on which one you're using. Uh, the BRS uh, calculators tend to not work with the Fusion 1 and 2 because there's some different proprietary uh, mixes going on in those products. Uh, you might find that you get there a little bit quicker than you anticipate, so you want to make sure that you're cutting back on your dosage. But uh, the uh, ME Coral products definitely work with the uh, BRS calculator. So ultimately these two products uh, or these two product lines are going to give you exactly what you're looking for and cover most of your bases as far as when it comes to dosing alkalinity and calcium. So if you find yourself in need of any of these products or looking to test your alkalinity and calcium, I put a whole page together that are products that I carry at Corals Unlimited that can help you with dosing calcium and alkalinity in your system. So all the links will be in the description below. There also will be one thrown in there for a very long in-depth video on the subject of how my methodology of testing and dosing has changed over the years if you want to check that out. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can stay in the know every single time that we upload a video here at Corals Unlimited. Until the next time, stay salty.